Hi, my name is Solomon. Hi, my name is Brian. Hi, my name is Nicole. Hi, my name is Chuck. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Hi, my name is Robert Williams. Hi, my name is Michael Conklin. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Baker. Hi, my name is Nicole. I've been going to New Life since I was eight years old, and I have never stopped loving this church, but I decided I was not going to get baptized until I felt I fully understood what it meant. When I was seven, I got baptized Catholic, and I didn't understand what that meant. And for a lot of years, I um, fell away from the church and from um, God and from Jesus. I wasn't willing to give him my heart. Kind of, it was nice to have him there when I needed him, um, but I, I never gave him full control until just recently, and it's it's uh, done miracles in my life. I grew up Christian. I went to a Christian school, and I was forced to believe either by fear or by just that's how I was raised and I came to a crossroads where I just wanted to find God for myself and God just showed me showed himself to me in a miraculous way and I just started to realize that being a Christian was more than just saying you were one it was a change in heart I've been a Christian for several years the only thing I miss is baptism and I miss because I was in a boarding school and my church did baptism when I was at school, so I just decided to use this opportunity to get baptized. Um, baptism to me means renewing a relationship or starting a relationship with Christ. So I'm volunteering freely to be baptized in, um, as a next step in uh, turning my life over to Christ and basically to trust in God more and worry less that God has a plan for my life. Just coming out of that water new. Um, it's, it's going to be amazing. Um, God's been working really well in my life. He's changed my marriage around. Uh, my daughter is just amazing. She's on fire for the Lord. She was actually baptized before me. When I get baptized, I really just want to start living through Christ and living for Christ and living like Christ and just change my life around. So this is my public declaration to live for Him, to work for Him, to have Him use me and every part of my body, my mind, my soul, for everything there is on the, um, this earth, that's all that matters. So I'm excited and um, that's why I'm doing it. Well, guys, we are so excited that you're making the choice to be baptized this morning. In fact, I, I think wouldn't it be appropriate just to applaud for them, let them know that we are thrilled. <laughs> hey, it is a very big decision, but it's the right decision. And uh, I, I'm always taken back to the time when Jesus was baptized. He comes to the Jordan River. His cousin meets him there. And as Jesus is baptized, we're told when he came up out of the water, a few things happened. One is they saw what looked like a dove. It was the Holy Spirit descend on him, and it just changed his life. It empowered him in a new way. That's when his public ministry began. He's no longer a carpenter. He was a carpenter and Messiah. And another thing happened. It said that a voice came out of heaven, and it was the voice of his heavenly Father, and the voice said this, this is my beloved Son, in him I am well pleased. And so one of the things I pray you sense God, your father, saying this morning is, this is my beloved girl, this is my beloved daughter, this is my beloved son, in him and in her I am well pleased. God, for each life here, each story represented, we just pray your hand. Lord, would this be a significant, significant milestone for each person? Lord, would there be something uh, that they would remember for years and years to come, there was a moment where I identify with the death of Jesus as I went into the water and I identify with the resurrection of Jesus as I came out. That their old life has entered into the grave and their new life has entered into your resurrection power. and Things are different. God, would they indeed hear that affirmation from their Father in heaven? And Father, would you fill them in a way they've never known before? Father, I pray that they would hear you and you speaking words of love and care over them. In your name we pray this. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys can follow the gentlemen. We got Drew and Darren and Riley. And uh, you'll be able to see them on the screens. They're going to be in the baptismal right over there. And uh, we're going to worship as they're baptized.
still.